Hello once again. Uh, so this is the second part of our lesson, uh, which is related to grammar, and the title is Real and Unreal Conditionals, first and second. So as you know, we have three types of con uh, three types of conditionals. Uh, today's course is only about the first and the second, uh, okay, uh, types, okay, or conditionals. So uh, before before going uh, into details explaining the course, uh, I have some examples as you can see on the left side. So uh, first condition examples first conditional. Uh, example number one: If I have money, I will start up a business. So there is the if, there is the 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 the, the condition, and there is the result. So to make it clear for you. The, the conditional in types of conditional there is the, re, the there is the condition and there is the result and the result of course it can be negative or positive so if i have money i will start up a business so the form is if plus simple present uh, plus comma comma is very important if you start with if plus will plus verb in the infinitive so, okay this is the form the form of first conditional is if plus simple present plus comma plus will plus verb in the infinitive. It's okay. Uh, two, I will start up a project if I have money or I will start up a business if I have money. So as you can see, it's the same sentence, but it is reversed. And the remark is there is no comma. So when you start with if there is comma, it's obligatory. If you start by the result and you keep the condition in the end, there is no need for the comma. Uh, three, if my dad sees me smoking, he will punish me. So here I started with if and I used the comma. If I want to reserve, if I want to reverse the sentence, uh, my father will punish me if he sees me smoking. And of course, I will not use the comma because I started with the result. It's okay. So this is, uh, in brief, the first condi conditional. Second conditional, uh, number one, if I were a policeman, I would arrest all criminals. So if plus where, where is verb to be in the, in the past, so if plus simple past, uh, I would arrest all criminals, plus would or could, plus verb in the infinitive. I repeat, the form of second conditional is uh, if, plus simple past, plus comma, if you use, if you start with if, uh, plus would or could, plus verb in the infinitive. Okay. Uh, two, she would, uh, she would go to China if she spoke Chinese. She would go to China if she spoke Ch Chinese. So here I started, I started with the result. She would, would, I said plus verb in the infinitive, go, uh, plus Okay, plus uh, simple past, she spoke. Three, if I had money, I would start up a business. So as you can see, the this example is, is the same sentence as the first sentence in the first conditional. But uh, here, I, we use it for the second conditional, if I had. So had is verb to have in the simple past. If I had money, I would start up a business. I say the, con the, the condition if plus simple past plus comma plus would would plus verb in the infinitive which is start up a b start up. It's okay. Uh, okay, we go to presentation to uh, understand clear and uh, in more detail with more details. Uh, the picture is first above. Uh, don't worry if you forget something. I'll bring it to you. I'll bring it along later. Oh no, it's Sue's birthday tomorrow. I must buy her a present. She would never forgive me if I forget if I forgot her birthday. So this is the first and the second conditional, just to get uh, examples about that. Uh, presentation. Real conditionals you use if with a present tense followed by will in the main clause to talk about a real condition or situation. In other words, a situation which is possible in the future. If you forget something, I'll bring it along later. The man thinks that it's possible that the woman will forget something. 
these sentences are often called first conditionals. It's okay, and they are real, as I said. Uh, okay, the, 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 the second and the last part is unreal conditionals, which is the second. You use if with the past simple followed by would in the main clause to talk about an imagined situation in the present or the future. In other words, situation that is either impossible or possible but not probable. If I forgot her birthday, she would never forgive me. He doesn't think it's probable he is imagining the situation. When you use the past simple with if, it doesn't, not, it doesn't refer to the past. It refers to the present or future. These sentences are often called second conditionals. It's okay. So, uh, it, it, it's as I, as I said, any real conditionals, they can be real, but in the future. The most important thing is that they are not real right now, right now in the pre present. Okay, this is in brief, as usual, the explanation of the course. Now we move to, this, to the second part, which is about exercises. Uh, exercise one, choose the correct option. Uh, okay, you have two options for every sentence from one to eight. You are going to circle or underline one. Uh, exercise three, exercise two, sorry. Uh, complete the sentences with the present simple, past simple, will or would from of the verbs or the verb in brackets. Uh, if I don't, if I don't see you later, I send or I will send or I would send. So it depends on the context. You should uh, see if it's real or unreal. You uh, text me message two. If you didn't have to work, what you do? Three. Jenny will be happy to help you if, uh, to help to help if you uh, have any problems. Uh, four, if you wait a minute, I can help you with the with those bags. Uh, five, I wouldn't do that if I be you, if I am or if I were you. So we have two options here, no more. Uh, six, they do they do anything if you have them enough if you gave them enough money. Uh, seven, what you do if if the bus doesn't come. Eight, how would you react if it happened to you? So uh, pay very particular attention and see if it's real or unreal conditional, if it's the first or the second. second. Uh, three, write sentences about the situations using if and the, wor and the words in bold. So uh, from one to six, you are going to use the words and rewrite the sentences. Uh, one, I don't have, for example, the first one, I don't have any money, I can't buy a car. If I had some money, I'd buy a car. Case of if I had money, I would buy a car. Um, two, if if may it may sorry it may rain tomorrow, we may not play football, so we are going to insert want. Three, I like my job, that's why I do it. We are going to insert wouldn't. Uh, four, I have to work tomorrow, I need to go to the to bed uh, early. You are going to insert didn't. Five, I'll probably see Tom later today. Uh, I can tell him about the party. You are going to insert I'll or I will. Uh, six. I don't know if you have any money. I can pay the bill. I can pay the bill. Sorry. So you will insert don't. Uh, exercise four and finally, you are going or ask. You are asked or you are required to write examples of your own. Uh, you can think about your future situations, your future uh, plans, and you can. Okay. You can say just. Uh, uh, examples if about real and unreal conditionals uh, on your own. Uh, so as usual, I was very and I, it's been always pleasure to deliver and to present to you these lessons. Uh, I hope it's very clear. And of course, if it's not, um, or okay, if you have any questions or remarks or suggestions, uh, do not hesitate to contact me at any time you like. Uh, don't forget, seize the day, seize the opportunity, benefit, for, benefit from the time, uh, and I wish you the best of luck.